please remember to subscribe. It's just one click for you but it helps me a lot creating new videos. Thank you. Three days after investor Mohamed El Arian, president of Queen's College University of Cambridge and economic advisor to Allianz, warned in an interview with Yahoo Finance, that the Fed and the promise of a vaccine aren't enough to protect investors from a potential reckoning, it was the turn of famed hedge fund manager Ray Dalio to warn on his LinkedIn page that the United States is at a tipping point that could lead to revolution or civil war. There is definitely a storm brewing. And these top experts are right, in fact all revolutions are a byproduct of a discontent populace. Gerald Salente always says, when the people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. History shows once all the wealth is accumulated in a small percentage of the population, revolt sets things back to an equal playing field. Unfortunately, it also shows this can take decades of famine and war. Revolution and civil war is exactly what they require to implement the new world order permanently. We are being played. Civil war is a problem because it pits you against the wrong enemy, against friends, family, neighbors, when they are not the real enemy. Also it might fail, and millions will suffer. Overthrowing the 0.1% will be 100% successful and have the better result. They already implemented the NWO. How else did 90% of countries react exactly the same way to this pandemic? The civil war has already begun. We are in the target selection stage. 95% of the people masked up and believe everything they say. There is no resistance, the masses love the new normal. Stay at home, the government sends money, dope is legal. The globalists locked us down and masked us up while the majority of retards cheered for it. When diversity becomes divide and conquer, and multiculturalism becomes disintegration. The US has been in the process of systematic deconstruction for the past 40 years, by the international globalist with trillions parked offshore. What you are seeing now is the last act in the play called, The Great Reset. All it took the globalists to finish the job after 40 years of fattening themselves with their low-cost Chinese labor and milking U.S. markets, was a pandemic and the panic they orchestrated through the media and their puppet governments, rewarding everyone with their offshore cash and fiat along the way. Meanwhile the stupefied American people patiently wait for their illustrious court system to fix everything, while the global elites just keep spreading that fiat around fixing everything in sight. This crisis enables them to issue more debt even faster before the rest of the world stops buying US IOUs. The dollars is in its finally death throes as the world reserve currency. Currency collapses are usually followed by war. In the case of a collapse of a major global currency, that would mean global war. China versus India may be the flashpoint. India, with the support of the US. China, with the support of Russia. We lost the game. We were called to total war and we backed out. China is now the world's manufacturing hub and sells the most goods and has an army with credible deterrence just like the USA. We are equal now. Get it? You are a cop with a gun? You got punched in the face, and you ran. Burgers lost everything over the last couple of years. 2021 is going to be wild wild wild. America lost everything. Why do you think Tesla is valued more than any other car maker in the world? Who is paying for Tesla's stocks now? Burger pension and retirement funds. The raid is going on as we speak as Elon Musk and his buddies sell their useless stock to pension funds. Total war was declared and burgers got their bluff called. In the world of geopolitical porno, those pictures of American bases being bombed accurately in utter ruin as the equivalent of a facial abuse ghetto gagger. We cannot defend anything without losing everything. Air Force outdated. Low-cost cheap precision guided ballistic missiles will wipe out every US base, within the first wave of burger bombers hitting enemies' borders. When you have a fiat debt-based monetary system it enables growth of political and corporate cronyism also known as fascism. But it also enables a bunch of these useless parasitic money changers, also known as financial advisors or bankers to thrive. Many would not amass fortunes in a true gold-based system I suspect. 
One class of people do all the productive work, and at the top of the pyramid are these parasites, and at the bottom are those who vote themselves free lunches. World reserve currencies have a finite lifespan. The US dollar is long in the tooth as the world reserve currency. The US is a declining empire. That's what this is really about. The elites are sucking all the wealth out of the US and moving it to the Far East. I really believe we're past the tipping point. The dysfunction and corruption that generates inequality and inordinate propaganda resources in the hands of the 0.1% the predator class are too deeply baked into the fabric of law, economics and ideology to be reversed or ameliorated. Simply put, the parasitic predator class is too addicted to the easy, windfall profits of their monopolies and cartels. Likewise the political system cannot reform itself because politics and government are owned and controlled by predator class lobbyists from the military-industrial complex, Wall Street, Big Pharma, Big Agriculture, real estate rackets and the rest. The nation is in a hopeless death spiral. And furthermore, internal strife has destroyed national cohesion and solidarity leading to political gridlock at a very crucial moment. As a result, the US cannot innovate and compete with the China-Russia axis, and that includes the exercise of military coercion. This is a cold, hard summary analysis and not an agenda or personal projection. In few words. We're screwed. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to click the like button. As many of you have asked me about where they can buy silver and gold bullion. You will find in the description box the links where you can buy American silver eagle, silver bars, and rounds. I highly recommend that you too, start stacking some silver bullion for the future. There is a point where every system reaches its end of life. Concentration of wealth and power are the metrics that show how close the system is to collapse. The US is very close. When most of the country is owned by a handful of billionaires and at least 95% of the country is struggling to pay the bills and earn enough to have a family, it won't take much to set the fire. The vast majority of the population cannot make it in a technologically advanced society. They aren't smart enough, educated enough, or driven enough. In the past they could farm, mine, or do monotonous work in auto plants. Those options no longer exist. McDonald's or busing tables does not provide sufficient income to lead a traditional American life with kids and home. The rest of the world actually works and produces tangible products while the traders read charts and run computers siphoning off the wealth of the country and putting it into the hands of the few. And we wonder why the country is in debt, the middle class is being gutted and the rich get richer. Fifty years ago the market used to be where the average Joe could stick his money, long-term growth from responsible operation of productive companies and everyone made money. Now you have to be a pencil-necked computer geek running supercomputers creating casino wealth out of thin air. Day trading and most of the stock market as a racket. Instead of using that brainpower by innovating, running businesses that actually produce stuff and can create wealth and jobs for millions, people in Wall Street pilfers and plunders without breaking a sweat. We are living in the endgame and it has nothing to do with any ideologies or bipolar indoctrination, Democrat versus Republican, capitalism versus socialism, etc., but everything with wealth and power, the ultra-concentration of ownership and the integration of Wall Street and the Chinese Communist Party. Welcome to the new neo-feudalism. It always amazes me the thing hasn't boiled over yet. Wealth disparity is at an all-time high. The productive class in the United States has been demonized, demoralized, defunded and depopulated over the past 40 years and yet, this group of people still remains in polite society. I am not exactly sure what it will take to adequately motivate the average person, but if my American family is anything to go by, the lines are already drawn in the sand. Everyone will choose a side and each side will deviate further and further from the middle. No doubt people under pressure will attempt this, but why do you expect this to have any effect on the new aristocracy? They can afford to pay the people they really need, and the rest can go wherever they please. If they rebel or become a nuisance, the armed forces and police can dispose of them as necessary. Once the dictatorship is complete, the law will make legal whatever actions are deemed necessary, and the press will bray the morality and justice of whatever actions are taken. 
When you reduce people from human beings to consumers, you strip their lives of meaning and purpose. Follow that up with masks, and you rob them of their identity and cognitive function hypoxia. What you have left is an empty vessel readied for the scrap pile. While there has always been corruption, and always will be. Today the corruption is more in your face than it ever has been. The political class and their handlers, the elite, don't even feel a need to hide corruption, not just here in the US but all around the world. The morality and ethics and ways and cultural values of the CIA, Pentagon, FBI, NSA, state security apparatus, as well as the elites, Washingtonians and Ivy Leaguers, have taken hold. So basically, the values of sociopaths and psychopaths as well as their sycophants, collaborators, and enablers have taken over. It shows in all the wars Washingtonians have both started and are losing, and in all the secret police activity and crimes and criminal activities of the military and state security apparatus and their puppet criminal special contractors of the secret police industry and the foreign Gestapo collaborators they've brought in to assist them in the criminal activities. And let's not forget the military-industrial complex and with it a bogus war and with it the trillions spent, and almost 20 years later still muddling along. The World Economic Forum and the Davos Financial Architects and UN Sustainable Reversion to Feudal Times Lords have no clothes if the hired help refuse to beat down the innocent public.